Here's your weather extreme video for this Friday morning, July 31st. James Payne is on vacation, so I'm Bill Murray sitting in for him today. Let's uh, take a look uh, across the state of Alabama out on this early, early Friday morning. And some surprising temperatures find, that we find there. 62 in Decatur, 62 in Coleman, 61 in Fort Payne. Uh, if you ever look at a July weather map and uh, claim those temperatures in Alabama, you'd be quite happy. 69 this morning, early in Birmingham. Dew points across the state. Uh, reflecting the drier air that has moved in behind a cold front that has made it all the way to where I am here this morning on the Gulf Coast. The dew points uh, this morning in the lower 60s in the Tennessee Valley, 64 there in Birmingham, and they'll go even lower as we go through the day. First, we'll start off with the tropics. We'll look at a disturbance off the coast of the Carolinas, Georgia, and northeastern Florida. The National Hurricane Center only putting the probability that that system could develop into a tropical cyclone at about 0% this week are this weekend and then over the next five days and if you look out in the far eastern Atlantic there's a strong tropical wave there in the far eastern Atlantic it has a long way to go across the uh, ocean and there are quite a few uh, bouts of dry air that it's going to deal with there so uh, the chance of that developing into a tropical cyclone is very low as well only about 20 percent over the next five days now something is missing here this morning over uh, much of the nation uh, in terms of heat advisories that we've been looking at for weeks and weeks and now those are in auspiciously gone uh, now except for the pacific northwest where we've got heat advisories uh, in the parts of northern california into oregon and washington uh, mainly replaced with flash flood watches. Uh, the mountains uh, and deserts of southwestern or southeastern California into uh, Nevada and northwestern Arizona, also in New Mexico, uh, and the Texas Panhandle, monsoonal moisture in those areas, sparking some flash flood warnings last night around the Los Angeles area. But again, for much of the country, uh, heat advisories missing. No heat advisories in Alabama today. High temperatures across the state will look like this. How about upper 80s in the Tennessee Valley to around 90 to 91 degrees in the I-20 corridor. Uh, further to the south, you'll still have a little bit warmer temperatures across the U.S. 80 corridor with 94 expected today in Demopolis and Montgomery. Now let's take a look at some maps up at the jet stream level where the big jets fly at 200 millibars. We've got uh, the jet stream now uh, buckling down into the Great Lakes region. Uh, you can see there strong winds uh, from the uh, northern Rockies across the Great Lakes and into the northeast as the jet stream has sort of meandered back into the country. Across the deep south, uh, we've got a big ridge of high pressure centered in northern Texas extending over into Alabama. But that trough uh, that's developing now over the northeast has been strong enough to push this cold front into Alabama. You can see the drier air over the state there uh, of Alabama reflected in the darker uh, shades of this water vapor imagery, uh, which I've got overlain here over uh, the 500 millibar uh, chart, which is the, uh, uh, the pressure field at about 800 millibars. Let's take a look at that cold front now uh, in South Alabama, stretching from about Mobile up to around uh, Auburn. Uh, it will go further south today and should make it all the way out of the state of Alabama. Here's probably the most telling graphic I'll show you today, and that's the precipitable water graphic showing much drier air that has pushed down into Tennessee, northern Alabama, northern Mississippi. Those uh, precipitable water values that were over 2 inches several days ago, or really as, uh, as late as day before yesterday, are now down to less than 1.5 inches and dropping this morning. Now, model fans, let's take a look at what's going to be expected over the next several days with the GFS. And starting with this afternoon, you can see that uh, most of the shower and thunderstorm activity will be confined to South Alabama, Southern Georgia. As we move on into um, later tomorrow, um, we see pretty much the same picture. No precipitation over northern Alabama, central Alabama. Most of the activity pushed to the south. It really continues the same as Monday and Tuesday. This is the map for Tuesday. You can see uh, still activity along the Gulf Coast, but central Alabama, we're sitting high and dry. Now by Wednesday things start to change as moisture begins to build to our west. A uh, cold front tries to approach from the north and as it does more showers and thunderstorms will be in the offing. As a matter of fact if you look at Thursday you would think well that could be a pretty wet day right there across central Alabama. As a matter of fact for about 36 hours there it looks pretty wet across the state. Going out to the end of the forecast period uh, and really out to the end of the model 16 days 384 hours we're looking now at Saturday August 15th 
and look what the GFS has for us. That's a marauding hurricane somewhere out there near Bermuda, uh, maybe threatening the East Coast. A big trough over the eastern United States should protect the Gulf of Mexico and uh, the East Coast from anything that could come our way from the tropics, but we'll be watching that over the next several days. That's your weather extreme video for this Friday, July 31st. I'm Bill Murray sitting in for James Spann. I'll be back with a weather extreme video for you tomorrow, and I hope you have a great Friday. Stay cool, and God bless.